this is so powerful. It has great music. I love the special effects and lighting. Uh, it was interesting to identify the different elements and their characteristics. Um, their settings are in the nature and it is just mostly lit with natural light and I especially enjoyed the scene with the columns in kind of a patio and it's also it is a lot of messaging in cryptic in the film and the the other scene I enjoyed is where, where they have the red threads and it somehow ends in a very hopeful hug or it was beautiful totally mystical and I, I really enjoyed it I thought it was really intriguing the way that they kind of framed it and talked about like mother sister, daughter, wife, like all of those kind of concepts and how they linked those again and again and again throughout the whole thing. And then the way that the, all of them were interacting and the, uh, the choreograph, the choreography was really, really beautiful and how they moved. And then like the red string, I thought all of those were just like really well-placed details that worked really well together. And then having them kind of be the four and then, you know, all around this fifth woman. I thought it was all really beautiful. Peace, it had this mythological ceremonious quality to it, evoking the ties between us, ultimately linking motherhood, but also mother nature in itself. And uh, just some really creative, evocative, images utilizing the elements of nature. Um, so I think that was our quadrant that unites us all um, and how their ties being separated or disconnected in potentially our modern age and in an age that doesn't uh, privilege nature as much as human uh, human nature, you can see the, the anguish in the separation of the elements, um, but united, they are whole and they are cohesive. Just some really gorgeous imagery that felt very rigorous in its thought and its uh, creation. I thought this was a really cool video. I loved the visuals, music, the dancing, the poetry of the movements. Um, I thought it was really interesting in terms of how it pulled all those elements together to tell a really cool story visually and see the music and dancing. Probably my favorite is the one with the, the cir circle of fire. It's just... It's just so cool, and there's just like a dozen of those incredible, uh, memorable shots. So I just thought it was super well done. And I love just the abstract nature of it, and uh, you know how it is presenting a narrative. But there's a lot to to draw from it visually, and and, and conclusions we can come to, um, you know, our, ourselves on it. You know, I'm I'm seeing like a, a life cycle here. Um, you know, and these women and, and, uh, and living as a woman in the life cycle of it and the, uh, you know, the, the hardships that they endure and, and, and how they come out of it. In the end, the, the beautiful tableau that they make of all of them together, you know, so I, I kind of sense that as being the journey of this movie. And uh, I love how it just employs, uh, you know, various disciplines. I love the music. Um, I love the photography um, and the, the on screen. The movement was great. And um the, uh, uh, you know, just the spoken word was very interesting, interesting poetry, a lot thought provoking, a lot to think about. Um, the performers on screen did an excellent job, they had wonderful presence. They did a really remarkable job in, uh, in performing the piece. It had a very strong uh, experimental feel to me where it was very ripe in uh, symbolism, just a lot of um, Strife and perseverance is the best two words I can use to describe it in the sense of there is a pattern of this endless cycle um, of a lot of hardships that women have to face um, yet despite it uh, despite how hard it is doesn't end but it begins again yet no matter what they still fight through it and so 
in a weird sort of way, come, it kind of comes off more optimistic, despite the fact that a lot of these hardships don't end, a lot of these hardships won't go away, won't change. Um, that doesn't stop you from rising up to face them. And I think that's a very powerful message. Mm -hmm.